The Union Pacific's mighty big boy type locomotive is an extremely impressive and incredible machine to see operate. And no matter where you go on the internet, it is listed as the biggest steam locomotive ever made. However, there is one problem with that statement. What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today we're talking about how the big boy is and isn't actually the biggest. It feels like, as I was researching this, Everywhere I looked, every website, every source, everyone says the big boy is the biggest one ever made. The simple fact of it is, is that that's not true. And of course, this gets into very nuanced conversation of how do you define biggest? I do want to say that it is the biggest operational steam locomotive right now here in 2024. And that's kind of not very likely to change anytime soon, if ever. But back in the day, when it was working for the railroad, when it was new, it was not really the biggest by any metric. So let's get into it. There's a couple different ways you can define biggest in this case. The longest locomotive, the heaviest locomotive, most powerful powers, not necessarily a size of bulk kind of thing, but it is related to the size of a locomotive. Typically larger locomotives are more powerful. So most powerful, perhaps, or most attractive effort. So those are the four categories we're going to look at. Length, weight, horsepower, and as well, attractive effort. We're not going to look into width because width of locomotives kind of isn't really something that's terribly well documented or talked about too commonly in this space. And the big boy is quite wide. It's 11 feet wide, but my narrow gauge K37 is 10 and a half feet wide, so... And there's not much room to expand in that direction, as it were. So let's start with weight. You know, sometimes dimensions can get weird, but the true bulk of something is really how heavy it is, right? Density might change and all that, but that's a really good way to look at it. And the big boy is not even in the top three in terms of steam locomotives throughout history. And pay attention because a lot of these locomotives are going to come up in most of these categories over and over again because we're talking about some of the biggest ever made here. The big boy engine and tender weighs about 1.2 million pounds. But the tender weight's more about fuel and water capacity and that changed very much depending on railroads. If you looked at some of the Pennsylvania Railroad engines, they had tenders that were bigger than the locomotives, which makes for an impressive sight, but doesn't necessarily contribute to the bulk of what the engine can do. So the big boy, just by itself, just the locomotive is 772,000 pounds. So a fair amount of its weight is the tender. Heavier than the big boy is the Norfolk and Western's John Henry locomotive, the Virginian and Erie triplexes, and then as well, the CNO M1 all of which are kind of interesting locomotives, and, and we'll get into the nuance of that at the very end. So all of those locomotives are heavier in terms of engine than the big boy is right away. So it's not the biggest by weight. Let's talk about length. The big boy is 132 foot 10 inches long when measured from the pilot all the way back to the tender frame, and that puts it at number four in terms of overall length. The Pennsylvania Railroad S1, the speed demon we talked about a couple months ago, it's actually longer at 140 foot 2 inches. Can you imagine a locomotive that's 140 feet long, one of the longest locomotives ever made, doing almost 150 miles an hour reportedly or even faster? That thing must have been a sight to see. And then, as well, the John Henry and the CNO M1 that we talked about in the weight category, unsurprisingly also longer than the big boy. In fact, John Henry is 161 foot, one inch long. Ah, uh, it's getting kind of crazy there. It's a big, big choo-choo and absolutely crazy. But again, uh, in those two locomotives, a little strange. The S1's a bit more conventional, as weird as it is, but it was one of one versus the big boys. So, okay, hang on. You can start to see where this sort of advertising, oh, it was the biggest one ever made, asterisk kind of comes in. So, okay, the big boy's not the biggest in terms of length or weight. Maybe it's the most powerful. It's a big, huge, powerful, strong locomotive. People talk about that, right? So is it the most powerful? Well, again, no. And we're using horsepower here, which is kind of a crappy measurement for steam locomotives in terms of power output, but power is energy over time. 
and that kind of states how quickly something can be done. Power is not necessarily equal to strength. I did a video about this last year talking about horsepower attractive effort. Check that out up there if you'd like. Uh, it's kind of an interesting one. The big boy was cited by William Cratville of all people. Hi, Kate. Uh, at 6,300 horsepower at a speed of 41 and a half miles an hour. And that puts it slightly less than the Western Maryland's Challengers and as well the CNO's Alleghenies, the 2666. Yeah, kind of crazy uh, seeing how much horsepower those engines made. The Allegheny was reported to put out 7,500 horsepower at a very comparable speed to the big boy. So, okay, not necessarily the most powerful. And that time it got beat out by locomotives that were more common and as well kind of less experimental or wacky, if you will. In fact, there are actually way more Alleghenies built than big boys built. So uh, that's a category that the big boy doesn't win that actually seems justified. Oh, and while we're talking about horsepower things, uh, it's worth noting that the S1 was reported at 7,200 horsepower at 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour, and it's putting out more than 7,000 horsepower. Uh, Pennsylvania Railroad uh, had a great time in Las Vegas and just designed their locomotives afterwards. Just madness. Okay, so it's not the most powerful in terms of raw power output, but what about force? What about that tractive effort that we said is a better way to measure what a steam locomotive can do anyways? Well, that's the category that the big boy handily loses. Uh, there's so many locomotives that had higher tractive effort ratings than the big boy that it doesn't even matter. Like, I can't even list them in a quick enough fashion. There, the, there they go. Look at all of them. So it really wasn't the biggest or the most powerful or the strongest or anything until now, of course, where it is <clears throat> where it is the biggest that operates and most powerful that operates. And I'm so thankful for that. Know that when I'm making this video, I'm not saying, oh, the big boy sucks. It's not even that. It's got fake. Ri no, that's not anything about it at all. The steam team at UP and that locomotive is just exquisite. I mean, it's such a cool thing. You have to go see it next time it's out on tour. But I wanted to quell the myth that it was the biggest because it really wasn't. A and part of the reason why I think it's included and always gets said that, hey, this is the biggest one is A, big is in its name. So well, there you go. There's that piece of it. But the other thing is, in terms of those length and weight measurements, the locomotives that beat it out were kind of odd. They weren't standard locomotives. So a lot of times you'll see people say, well, Big Boy's the biggest reciprocating normal steam locomotive, not wacky, strange designs like the M1 or the John Henry. So sometimes people will put that qualifier on it, but if you're going to say it was the biggest one ever made, well, you kind of lose that little bit of nuance in there because it really isn't, but it kind of is too. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully you learned something new and, and well, hopefully you'll go down a rabbit hole, take a look at some of these other engines because there's a lot of neat locomotives to be had out there uh, that were also huge and impressive that many of which we don't have anymore. So make sure you go check all those sorts of things out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all next time.